Um, here is how to set subcategories to generic model elements. So first thing, um, I'm going to show you how to do it to this Hilti embed. So first thing, I need to hide this um, extrusion because this doesn't actually show up in any of our views. Um, so I will hide it temporarily, hide element. And now I'm going to select this channel. And so this channel was modeled in this family. So once I have it selected, I can go over here to properties and where it says subcategory, I can see that it says none. And if I drop, drop down subcategory, um, I don't have the option to, to get the subcategory that I want, which is just going to be embed. So then I've got to go to um, manage. Um, and object styles. And so here are my categories. And so I'm going to click on generic model and then under modify subcategories, click new. And then I will just name that embed. Um, and then click OK. OK. And so once I've done that, now I can select this channel and drop down the subcategory from none to embed. So then I also want to set the rebar tails to that. But you can see here, there's no option for me to set a category. That's because the rebar tails are actually a nested family. So then I'm going to have to click Edit Family. And now I'm in the family with the rebar tails. So again, I'm just going to hide this extrusion I don't need. And I'll select both of these. And you can see subcategory set to none. There's no embed option. So I've got a, oops, wrong click, sorry. Go to Manage, Object Styles, New. And I want to make sure it's spelled exactly the same way, um, it's same caps and everything as the other subcategory. So click Embed, click OK. And we could build those subcategories into the, um, the, the template for our generic models. So now I've got the rebar tells selected. So I'm going to drop this down and click embed. And then I just need to load it back into the original family. So now all these elements are set to that embed subcategory. So if I need to filter them out of view in my model, I can under view templates.